The following contains elements of horror that may be too intense for some. Viewer discretion is advised. For a little background, I'm a 27 year old female and I recently just moved into a nice apartment in a safe neighborhood with my two dogs, Charles and Wigwam. Charles is a corky German Shepherd mix and the most loving but overly obnoxious dog, while Wigwam is a Lhasa Apso who is quiet, sweet, and most definitely scared shitless of his own shadow. I've only been at my new place for about a month and after this experience, I highly doubt I'm going to make it here for the duration of my year-long lease. The way these apartments are set up is so that each floor has its own set of doors that lead to four apartments and a fire escape that only opens from the inside. I'm on the back side of the building. That place is my patio about 10-ish feet from the fire escape. I take my dogs out three times a day, midnight being the latest I'll go out by myself. And every time I leave my apartment, I put the bar lock on my patio door and lock my front door without fail. About a week ago, we had a snowstorm and I cracked my patio door because, well, I love cold weather and I'm a fucking adult and if I want to watch snowfall, then I can do as I please. Mistake number one, I let my guard down because I'm a stubborn twat. It was around 11 p.m. and I decided that since it's getting late, I should take the dogs out for the night and since they both hate snow, this would be a quick trip. I go to lock my patio door and decide against it because I'm on the frickin' fifth floor and I'm only going to be outside for a few minutes. I get the dogs ready, grab my keys, and lock the door as I leave the apartment. I get down to the designated pet area with my beloved snow-hating dogs and let them do their thing. And then back to the apartment we go, and we get back in safely, or so I thought. This is where I thought I was losing my mind, but in actuality, shit was about to get real. As soon as we walk into the apartment, my dogs run over to the patio door, and I notice that the door is shut and the bar is locked. Mistake number two. I immediately think it's strange, but didn't connect the dots. I go into the kitchen to get dog treats and both dogs start going batshit crazy and growling at a large cedar chest in my living room. And as I'm going to see what all the commotion is about, I see a pair of eyes creeping from under the chest lid. I stood there for about 5 seconds before I realized what's going on and calmly walked backwards to my front door, opened it and told my dogs, let's go outside. They ran out without leashes and I immediately get them and myself in my car lock the doors and call the police. The police show up in less than 5 minutes and they go up to my apartment and after about 20 minutes, two officers are dragging a 40-ish year old man out of my building in cuffs and the plot just thickens. This dude was watching me since I moved in and was stalking out my place, waiting for an opportunity to get inside because he knew I lived alone. And if that's not creepy enough already? He had a fanny pack, and he had a pocket knife, needles, ketamine, and a picture of me from the day I moved in, and his plan was to sneak in through my patio door, wait for me to fall asleep, and God knows what else. Needless to say, I didn't fall asleep for days because I thought he would come back. Luckily, the bastard is still in jail, but I'll never forget those eyes. So to the dude who planned on drugging me in my sleep, fuck you.